Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. This video is all about the things I get for free and I find at flea markets and yard sales. Here's a recent flea market find that I have uh, just picked up. It is a box full of pulleys, gears, and bearings. And when I saw the box sitting at the guy's booth, I asked him what he wanted for it. And he said he wanted 50 cents a piece for these. And I knew I wanted the whole box, so I asked him, what would you take for the whole box? And he just threw out a number and he said $8. So I got this whole box full of these pulleys and gears and bearings for $8. And I knew right off the bat that this was something that I was going to be able to use. If you see here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, right there, those numbers. Like for instance, this is a pulley is a 28 XL. That means it uses the XL timing belt and it's got 28 teeth going uh, around it this way. And that XL belt, if you've seen my claw machine video, the camera slider video, I've got a lot of that belt and I use that on a lot of my projects. So these right here, just these pulleys are worth the, uh, the $8. I mean, you could go online and pay $8 for just one of these. And I got a whole bunch of them. So there's uh, just tons of these little things in here that's all on that XL belt. So these are going to come in real handy on upcoming projects. Uh, there's a few, uh, like a V-belt. It's for a V-belt there. There's a couple of those in there. There's uh, these bearings here. They're attached to this aluminum. I have no idea what these came out of, but there's a bunch of those in there. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, okay. Sprockets. We got gears and sprockets. A bunch of these. I do not know what these are, but uh, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out. I don't do a lot with the, the chain, but you never know when you might need something. Here's uh, something there. I'm thinking these may have come out of some type of old copier machine or uh, uh, some type of machine like that. Photo processing machine, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, there's some more XLs. There's a lot of these in there, just regular bearings. Some of them have the little uh, retainer clip on it. Uh, there's a lot of those in there, a few things like that, uh, stuff like this. Yeah, this was uh, this was a pretty good find. Um, so this will uh, increase my bearing and uh, gear and sprocket collection pretty good. So eight dollars found it at the flea market. Here is another recent flea market find, and what we have here is a whetstone for sharpening things. And you can see here that it is belt driven. So I'm going to take one of these motors that I've picked up and hook this thing up. And this is for like sharpening knives and tools. And it's in really good shape. Just this stone, I think I paid $40 for this. Just that stone is well worth $40. But uh, you can see there's a, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's a, uh, this is this is a tub or a little container here and the water uh, goes in there and you can see here's the drain valve and you can adjust it here and you just sharpen your your tools with it and uh, I had been looking for uh, an electric one I had my eye on one at the uh, wood shop I think it was like three hundred dollars so uh, I'm going to uh, hook this up and see how well it does. Maybe that'll be in an upcoming video. So here is another recent flea market find and it is an old Kelvinator motor and it is hooked up to this grinding stone and wire wheel. And I think I picked, or I paid $25 for this whole setup here. And the reason I picked it up is, I, I see motors all the time, but this one caught my eye because it has this fuse on the top. Now these are the old uh, fuses. This is what they had back before circuit breakers. And I had never seen a motor that had one of those uh, fuse blocks on top of it. Uh, everything on it works. So turn it on and fire it up there. And another little unique feature is it's got this little cap right here. 
and I believe that's for oil in it. And I, I've never seen a motor that had this on it either. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, taking this end off and hooking that whetstone up to it. Uh, I paid $25 for this and $40 for the whetstone. So for $65, I could have a whole sharpening system. So uh, this is definitely going to get some use. Uh, recent flea market find just shows you what you can find at the flea markets if you get out there and look for it. Here is something that I got for free out of a dumpster dive. And it is a set of shears. It is a DeWalt DW890. And the end is cut off and it looks like it's seen better days. But this is just cosmetic. This is where somebody just left it bouncing around in the, the back of their truck or in a toolbox with a bunch of dirty tools. Um, this is actually in really good shape. Um, when I first saw this, I, I almost didn't pick it up because I was like, this is just shot. But uh, I, I picked it up and I was shocked. I came home and did some research. They still make this. This is $170. So this is definitely worth uh, saving. Uh, to me it is. To whoever threw it away, it's not. But if you look here, I don't know if you can see this on camera. You can see like right in this area here, this, uh, I, I plugged this in, I, I put a cord on the end, I plugged it in and it works. Uh, the problem is right in this area on both sides, it's just worn out. This is just completely worn out and instead of cutting the metal, it, it just gets jammed up in the, uh, the, the knives here. They do make uh, replacement knives for this. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, getting a cord and some new knives, uh, rebuilding this, and this might be an upcoming video. Uh, we'll see how it goes on, on getting the parts and everything. But uh, I went on the internet and just did some research, and just from the, the places online that you can buy, still buy the parts for this, I could rebuild this, including a new cord and this whole new assembly up here for about $50. And like I said, if you went to the store and tried to buy that, uh, it's $170. That's the cheapest I found it, like at Amazon. And I think I saw it as high as uh, $199, like at uh, Lowe's and, and Home Depot, places like that. So this is an excellent uh, find here. And I just found that in the trash, got it for free. So here is another 100% free tool that I picked up out of the trash. It is a drill, and if you look here, is a Milwaukee whole hog. And uh, this is a half inch drill. And the bit was in this drill when I picked it up, and I have just left it like this, and I have used this drill several times. Of course, as with all of the tools I get for free, the cord was cut off. So we just kind of put a little temporary thing on there uh, just to see if it would work. And as you can see, Oh, turn the power on. This, this thing works great. And uh, one of the things that was missing was there's no like handle to hold on to it. So I looked at the threads. It's the same as a uh, uh, three-quarter inch pipe you get at the hardware store. And that just threads right in there like so. And now you can uh, drill some holes with it. I have used this already. Uh, if you remember my shop on the previous video, I showed the back where we had to rip out the wall. I had to put some new studs in and I used this drill to uh, get in between the studs and drill the holes to run the electric line through, which I believe that's probably what the guy who threw this away was using it for. Uh, he probably cut the cord off and just went and bought him a new one. Who knows why he threw it away, but uh, I have drilled several holes with this, and it is a whole hog. Um, I used the same bit to drill a hole in a railroad tie that we ran some uh, rebar through on a landscaping project, and so far this, this is a very stout drill. It works very well, got it for free. Okay, so here is a, another uh, free find. Uh, this is a frame from a glass top table. Uh, somebody had thrown this away. They probably broke the glass top, but uh, this is the metal frame to it. All the pieces are here. 
and they were even nice enough to uh, throw away the screws and leave them in a little bag. So uh, I've got the screws to even put the, the metal pieces on here, but uh, I think this was a really good find. What I'm going to do is use these metal pieces uh, and I'm going to make a wooden top uh, table out of it. And uh, I think it'll make a, a really good, uh, nice looking table. So this may be an upcoming video too. And like I said, I got this for free. Uh, dumpster diving, got it out of the trash. Just got to know where to look. Okay, here is another uh, dumpster dive. Got it for free. And it is a wooden uh, tabletop. And if you look here, you can see these screws are bent, so they've knocked the, uh, the bottom, the legs and the bottom part of the table off. But I picked this out because this has got some really nice inlay. And in the, uh, in the past, uh, I've gotten little tables like this, and you can sand them and refinish them, and, and they turn out really, really nice. Um, I, I've picked stuff up like this out of the trash uh, for free before and uh, refinished it, rebuilt it. And turn around and saw them and, and got some really good money for it. So uh, this is uh, another uh, upcoming project that I got uh, for free. Okay, here is another uh, free item that I got on Craigslist. Uh, the ad said, free, come and get it, must be gone today. And the story behind this was the people had inherited uh, their parents' estate this was left over. They were trying to sell the house. The people buying the house said they weren't signing any, any paperwork till some items were gone. This was one of the items. So they were just giving it away uh, to, to get it out of their life. And I, I picked it up for free. And uh, if you look at these motors and wheels, they may look familiar because I used motors similar to these out of the same type of a chair for the Segway project. Um, I've also got some other motors that uh, you're going to see in upcoming videos. You may see motors from this in upcoming videos. Um, I've had some people ask me, well, why don't you try and restore this thing? And if, if you look, you can look around here. Uh, you can see that uh, this was left outside, and uh, I don't think it's worth restoring. There looks like the controller over here is uh, pretty worn. Um, so I, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably worth more as parts than it is trying to restore and make some money on it. But uh, you will definitely see parts from uh, this thing uh, in upcoming videos and I got it completely for free just knowing where to look. Do you have a recent dumpster dive or flea market find you'd like to share with everyone? Please leave that in the comments below for everyone to see. And also, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.